welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna help all you curly girls out there who find it really hard to find natural hair care products in their country because not everyone has the privilege to find um, natural products for the hair in their country so I'm gonna help you with that and give you some tips on where you may look or what you can do to um, give your curls the best products but before we get started I'm gonna show you my smoothie of today as usual and today it is a grapefruit juice and this is just grapefruit water and some dates and um, I've put it in since grapefruit can be a bit bitter so um, just to make it a little sweeter and this is really easy to make you can make it in just some minutes so if you want to have clear skin and um, you want to lose some weight maybe then grapefruit is really really helpful so tip number one is online shopping um, I think that's like the easiest option um, you could just go online and find all the products that you see um, on YouTube and everywhere else which is promoted for curly hair on Amazon for example you will find pretty much everything or uh, there is another website which is called iHerb and there you can also find many um, natural hair products and online is of course the best option since you have so much variety you can really choose and find everything you um, want and want to try for your hair now it can be a bit expensive since um, if you live for example in a smaller country then the shipping price is more than in a bigger country so you don't want to spend like 10 euros extra for a like a conditioner or shampoo and I totally get that because most of the times these products anyways cost like 10 to 20 um, euros like one product and you don't want to spend like I don't know like 50 euros or something on hair products so like that's the easiest way but it's also it can also be kind of expensive tip number two is just go everywhere go everywhere where you can find hair products um, the drugstore and in the drugstore look in the high-end section then look in the like cheaper section and, and like the regular mainstream section like where the products are that you find you see everywhere and sometimes in drugstores they also have like a section where they're like more uh, natural alternatives so just go there and there you may find products without sulfates um, parabens silicones because these you don't want to have in your hair as a curly girl and it may be a bit annoying to just look around and frustrating as well because most of the products are going to have silicones in them but you may find maybe just one um, product that has no parabens and uh, silicones in them and that's really individual to the country so just look around and hunt for those products and you may find some and I'm really happy that there is a TK Maxx for example here because they have a lot of products that I won't I won't find any of these here and they also have sometimes products which are specifically for curls so that's awesome and I really that's so rare so I'm really happy to find them tip number three is go to a Asian or African beauty supply store and there they may have products that um, you wouldn't find somewhere else sometimes they have brands like Shea Moisture for example and there it's way cheaper than when you would buy it online because you don't have to pay any shipping which is cool just check um, around your area if you can find um, a store like that and and if you're lucky you will find really cool products also may find really good oils for your hair for example like amla oil and that you may find even in a like Indian um, food store so just check it out these oils are really good for um, hair growth for example and you may also find products like uh, shea butter just pure shea butter and that you would never find anywhere else except like online so just go and check it out and see if you can find something for your curls tip number four is use um, a soap bar or soap as shampoo since most of the shampoos you may find are with silicones or parabens just stay away from them just use like a natural soap and it could be a soap bar like um, I like using the Aleppo soap for example or you can also use a liquid soap but just take a look 
if um, it is also made for your hair but be aware and use the soap with water so it's not that strong and um, that way it's just gonna clean your hair really nicely and you have no silicones and parabens in them and it's also a cheaper alternative since um, it's just way cheaper to use a soap bar or just a natural soap which comes often in like huge containers so if you have no other option to find um, like silicone paraben free uh, shampoos then I would really recommend using just regular soap or you could also use apple cider vinegar instead of shampoo and mix that with with water put it in your hair massage it in your hair and then wash it out and that's gonna clean your hair out really nicely and it's gonna really give it a deep clean so there are also other options to using shampoo and you can just test what works best for your hair and your hair type and tip number five is start using natural products such as shea butter different oils essential oils you can just test and see what really works for your hair type and these products you um, find pretty much everywhere um, shea butter you may not find everywhere but um, the rest like oils for example like olive oil coconut oil Oregon oil um, is really good for your hair. You can do hair masks with them or just um, seal in the moisture with, the, with those oils and you can see what really works for your hair. Just have a look and see if you can find the most natural way of these oils which are not um, refined and are organic and you may find them in uh, healthcare stores for example or even in the supermarket like olive oil you can find really everywhere or for example aloe vera juice is really good for your hair so if you can find a fresh uh, leaf that will be good or you could also find uh, just a juice by itself and you can use that as a leave-in or um, to use it as a mask so it's really just about um, trying and seeing what is good for your hair type and a lot of um, curly hair products have these ingredients anyways so you can find it like the pure form and that's way cheaper so you could buy shea butter for example which is in a lot of hair care products in already so it's way easier to just buy shea butter by itself and use it on your hair like that and you can also make your own products um, and masks with um, shea butter oils um, essential oils i make my leave-in for example myself with just flax seeds i just cook them and um, use it in my hair and that's like a really really good leave-in i know i can't really find a good leave-in here so i just make it myself and it's really easy really fast and it keeps my hair super defined and, and it protects it from getting too frizzy um, and it protects it from the from the cold for example so it's just about learning what is good for hair or what which products are in those curly hair products and just adjusting it and seeing what you have in your area and um, making your own products so that was it I hope I could help you with finding curly hair products. I hope those tips to um, making your own products also helped you and you may look more into what's really in uh, those products and you can maybe adjust it and try to do them yourself. And is this hairstyle the cutest ever? These space buns. I have a video on them if you want to check it out how you can do them just I'll put the link down below if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and if you have um, maybe some other tips for curly girls and boys then put it down below and I will see you in my next video bye Yet to come. All the misery was necessary when we're deep in love.